What is going on everyone? It's Kelly here and as you can see I'm in my backyard in my hammock right now because I messed up. I did this to my ankle and unfortunately I have been not be able to do anything for the past four weeks and it's been driving me insane. I've been at my house for four weeks, uh, just trying to recover, trying to stay off of it, but then also trying to keep up with YouTube. Luckily, when this happened, I filmed my last three videos in Mexico, so I did have some content to hold me over for the past month. Um, how I sprained my ankle? So, so dumb. <laughs> the last night we were in Mexico, we drove five hours to Cabo and we were flying out of Cabo the following day. Well, we booked a hotel, so we'd have one night out in Cabo just to have fun, relax, let loose. So we're walking on the street in Cabo and my friend Zach, as you guys saw in the last three videos, he jumped over this little pole, right? Three foot little white pole on the edge of the road. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, but I jumped over the pole. Well, I didn't see that there was a little bit of a curb there and toast, my ankle landed on that curb. Immediately I was like, oh no. Laying on the curb, buckled my knee. I did a little bit of a somersault and I'm like, Yep, I just messed up. My ankle is ruined. Now, needless to say, I did sprain my ankle 10 years ago while doing competitive cheerleading. Uh, I had one stunt that went up, I was a flyer, and my base didn't catch my foot, ended up falling on my foot, boom, snapping my ankle. Didn't break it, just highly sprained it. And unfortunately, it's the same ankle, and I did it again. I'll go ahead and show you guys some pictures here of my ankle. It's really gnarly, swollen, bruised all over. I did get an x-ray about a week after I sprained it. Um, fortunately, it's not broken. However, I feel like this is going to take forever to heal. We're four weeks in and all the swelling's down and everything, but it's just still like I, I'm not going to be able to dive or even walk properly for weeks. So I have the month of December to pull videos out of my butt for YouTube and we're just going to see how it goes. Um, I did go to first alternative and they helped me with the pain in my ankle and it's going to help me heal faster and quicker and take away the pain. All right, so now I'm gonna go do a segment that this is just a relaxing segment. So I'm gonna get this one. <gasps> yeah, I feel it. Is it too much? More and more. Yeah, it's like more and more. I feel it. Well, that's, right. because, that's because you have nerve damage in this one. Yeah. yeah. So you'll slowly start to feel it in both. And then we're gonna go on this one, and you're gonna feel it tighten up, mm -hmm. and then release, okay? Okay. It's gonna keep you like continuously. All right. All right. Super interesting work that they do. They do like non-invasive, uh, pain relieving appointments uh, for you if you have any scars or any scar tissue, any pain, any swelling. Um, they help with that. So be sure to check that out. Um, I'll put it here. I actually ran into one of the owners at a restaurant in. Jupiter, Florida, and he was telling me about everything, and I showed him my my shark bite on my arm, and he was like, "Oh my gosh, like we have stuff to help with scars and all this stuff." So he, we got we got into the conversation. Needless to say, he helped me out a lot. Four or five months later, when I did this to my ankle, so this video is going to be a little bit of an update. Um, I'm going to get into a Q and A I did post on my YouTube a month ago. Um, for some questions and I have 200 questions uh, that were on the post so I'm, I'm obviously I can't really get to all of them but we're gonna go ahead and go through the comments and see what we can't answer. On top of this I'm gonna be throwing it back to Mexico and showing you guys some spearfishing footage that I have yet to make a video of because it was day four of spearfishing and the only thing I recorded was underwater spearfishing. Uh, not so much content on the boat and I didn't really make a whole video so we're gonna tap into that as well. And what else? What else is new? There's an airplane going above me right now. Um, let's answer a question. But we're gonna get into some other stuff too in this video. Question number uno. You used to be a bodybuilder, correct? Do you still work out? What do you do? When do you do it? Especially juggling and creating videos. Uh, yes, I used to be a bodybuilder for like four years. I got really into it, um, like kind of right after high school. 
and I just grinded. Like, I mean, gym six, seven days a week, diet, like I was into it. I absolutely love it. I, I miss doing shows and I think they were a lot of fun, but I think that was like a time in my life where that's what I did. That was my passion, right? Um, I probably wouldn't do a show again just because it's a lot of money, it's a lot of dedication, and that's just kind of not where my priorities are right now. But I work out whenever I can. Uh, when I'm home in between trips, I hit the gym, I do like some yoga, I'll do some home workouts. Um, I'll tell you what, after my ankles healed, I am getting back hardcore into it because I'm losing my mind. It's kind of like when you get sick and your nose is clogged and you're like, wow, all those times I took advantage of breathing normal. Yeah, that's how I feel with my ankle right now. Uh, if you like swimming with sharks, then possibly you might like grizzly bear for some bear meat to eat. Have you ever been bear hunting? I have not been bear hunting. Um, I'm kind of, I don't really know if I would bear hunt. I mean, not, I'm not against it. I understand why there's bear hunting in certain locations, just like everything else. I think if the opportunity was there to shoot a bear in an over, like, I could do it, um, but it's just not really the first thing on my list to do, if that makes sense. All right, I'm gonna answer one more question and then get into something else. This one is, how does becoming a celebrity affect your personal life? You may not, you might not feel like you are one, but even Aaron Young said pretty much something similar about just being a regular guy. He doesn't think that he is any kind of celebrity but I feel that if you were to put something out there, literally millions of people can see. It's going to put you up there in the spotlight no matter what. I would hate to embarrass you or myself if I saw you out eating somewhere and came up screaming for an autograph, LOL. I wouldn't do that by the way. <laughs> um, I don't really consider, I don't consider myself a celebrity. I feel like celebrities are like Hollywood people, you know? Uh, YouTube, anyone and their mom can do YouTube if they just put their mind to it and do it. Um, I do think us as YouTubers, we have a big influence um, with social media because, you know, it's the internet and whatever goes on the internet is for the world to see. So, I mean, I get people come up to me all the time in airports and ferry boats and the beach and gas stations and everywhere. and. If you do see me out in public, like come say hi to me. Like I would gladly say hi to you and talk to you and, and whatever, you know, don't ever be nervous to come up to, to us YouTubers and say hi because you guys are literally why we are YouTubers. You know, you guys are helping us pay our bills and you guys are helping us, you know, live our dream and what we want to do. Um, so I think we should, honestly, we owe it we owe everything to our fans and to our audience who watch us because without an audience, you can't be a YouTuber. Um, so if you do see me out in public, come say hi. When are you coming back to Oregon and will you do a fan meet and greet? There's another plane over me. Uh, I would love to go back to Oregon. I don't really have any plans right now to go back, but it's absolutely beautiful there and I would love to go back and go out on a boat and do some Dungeness crabs. Last time I went to a local market and bought some crabs and we ate them at a park. Uh, but yeah, no, I would love to go back to Oregon. I don't know. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of nervous, not nervous to do meet and greets, but like, I just, I feel like my audience is spread all over the United States and to like pinpoint one spot is really hard to do. So I haven't necessarily done that yet. But like I said, if you see me in public, just say hi. <laughs> Speaking of Oregon, if you haven't seen my last Oregon videos, look who it is. My BFF, Chelsea Trompower, with a, with a whole belly and all. Turn to the side, turn to the side. We need, a, I need the, an actual visual. The side view. <laughs> Someone just asked me a question if I go back to Oregon. I want to so bad. It was so beautiful there. Philly, are you excited? You have a friend. You do. I feel like if I get on this, it's gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Philly's on it. Okay. Philly, just straight up. Philly loves the hammock. Look at him. He he's, saw you in your He's so. He's just so excited about life. I'm gonna hold off so it doesn't snap. <laughs> All right, you guys. I'm actually gonna go in and show you um, my bluefin tuna mount, which I'm gonna take a couple minute break from the questions. 
wobble my way inside. <sighs> Four weeks. Uh, so a week ago, I went down to Gray's Taxidermy in Pompano Beach and filmed them spray painting my bluefin tuna mount, the 191 pound bluefin tuna I shot in San Diego. And it was absolutely incredible to watch them paint this fish. They did an extremely good job. I have it. What? <laughs> oh, Finley's so excited. I have it in here on my floor right now under Finley's comforter. But I am so excited to hang this up. I'm gonna have to hang it up where that pompano is because I do not want to move my that fish because I really like that fish there. So I'm gonna have to find another area for my pompano. My pompano. My permit. Sorry, it's not a pompano. It's a, it's a very big pompano. Um, my permit over there. So back to the questions. So Chelsea, Chelsea just left to go to an ultrasound appointment, which I was gonna go with her to that, but I gotta film this video and get this done. Finley just ripped up his brand new toy that I just bought him. Finley, come here. Come here. What is that? What is that? Huh? What? Oh, yes, this. Dude, that was like the cutest dog toy ever. It was this cute little octopus that he decided to shred. So. <laughs> Stinker. I just bought him that like two days ago. It's so funny, some toys he'll shred and then some toys like he will keep forever and not even mutilate. All right, let's see y'all. You need to do another camping video. It's way more you as down to earth person, which I know you'll, you already are, just keep going. So fun fact, I actually wasn't going to really announce this yet, but. I did buy a camper, uh, just a 19 foot tow behind camper that I'm super stoked. I'm gonna um, probably redo it a little bit, not too sure, at least paint the outside and do more camping videos, road trip videos, um, just something different, something different. And I can bring Finley along in the camper and he would be so happy. Finley, hi. <laughs> Uh, to be a little camping dog. So yeah, I'll show you a little sneak peek of that right here. Um, but I'm super excited for that. Finley squeaking a toy right now. So how is your YouTube career progressing? And what if anything, what if anything have you got in place for if it dies off? Um, it's going good right now. I am uh, very consistent with what I post and what I make. I don't necessarily have like a set plan for after YouTube. I always I think about that every day. However, I am trying to be smart with my money and I'm trying to invest my money and hopefully buy some properties and you know, run out some houses or maybe buy a sailboat and run out the house I live in now and just I have, you know, money in retirement and everything like that. So, I just try to be smart with my money now and I'm always trying to think of something after YouTube. That makes sense. But I don't necessarily have like, all right, this is what I'm gonna do after. I'm kind of like, you know, if something happens, like I will deal with it then. Um, so I have a few messages in here saying like, what really happened between you and Gabe? And what happened to you and Blue Gabe? Um, you still don't wanna talk about it. You know, people are like, they broke up a year ago, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, I get it. Our, li our life was social media and for everyone to see. Uh, we didn't work out. I don't really want to get into details. However, um, recently we have been talking. We're friends. I just talked to Luke and Jake uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, so we're cordial. We're civil. We're friends. Hopefully you can stay that way. You know, it's life. Um, but that's all I'll really say about that. Okay, I'm gonna go through some more of these questions, but right now we're gonna take it back to Mexico in Magdalena Bay. This was day four of spearfishing, and we got in to some grouper. Now, it was a little bit of a slow day, like the third day. However, we just got in this, this one spot held so many grouper where I did rip off a really nice, probably 60 pound broomtail grouper that you guys will see in this footage. Um, Zach stoned a huge golf grouper. Nikki got a broomtail. 
and CJ got a broomtail grouper, so I'm gonna roll that right now, and when we get back, we'll answer some more questions. That was a big one. I shot it, it ripped off under the ledge. Okay, let's try to go get it. I mean, it ripped off. It did the ledge. Are you in your future coming to Hawaii? 
I absolutely want to go to Hawaii. I actually spent a lot of time in Maui way before I started YouTube and I loved it. What is Finley? He's looking at something. You see lizard? You see lizard? I flipping love Hawaii. I think it's an, oh, it's such a magical place. As cliche as that sounds, everyone who goes to Hawaii, they're always like, oh, it's just this insane place. And it's like, yeah, it's, it's the island, you know? But it's so true, like, it's so magical there and just so, like, the the culture there is just, I love it. So, yes, I do plan to go to Hawaii again, um, and I want to film there, and I want to just spend some time there, but I, I, I have a couple trips that I'm kind of waiting on, like, to do with somebody, if that makes sense, like Hawaii, Alaska, uh, just because they're big trips, and I just, I would like to enjoy that with somebody. Why did you stop shark diving? Um, I worked on the shark diving boat for like five years, like part-time, full-time, part-time, full-time. Absolutely love it. However, it's just not like a sustainable job. Um, I made good money doing it. However, it wasn't really consistent because of the weather and I started kind of going full throttle with YouTube and I kind of came to a point where I, when I first started YouTube and I was filming a lot, um, in Miami, uh, I had to kind of pick one, you know, like, do I go full throttle and try this YouTube thing out or do I kind of keep it half and half? So I made that decision to just go full throttle and here I am right now. I can go dive whenever I want on the shark boat, no big deal. Um, I just, you know, you go through different chapters in your life and shark diving was a chapter in my life that I absolutely love and miss. And honestly, that was the best job ever, man. You just went out on a boat dove three day three dives a day took pictures of clients and sharks and just my favorite part was coming into Utiki marina in jupiter florida and having the sunset and like Utiki, like the music's going and it's just so relaxing you've been diving all day and like just that feeling i miss that feeling all right let's see someone said new boyfriend yet lol jk you don't have to answer lol um no not yet it's gonna take a lot for me to to get in a relationship i'll tell you that not a lot just like i'm i think i'm just gonna be more a little more picky like i don't know um Someone asked me, what is my favorite thing on vacation? Uh, I don't really have vacations, if that makes sense, because I'm always filming when I go places, because that's my job, so. I would say something that would be a vacation to me is I go on a trip and I film, 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 I get all my videos out of the way, and then my last night I can like have a drink, have a good dinner, like a, just not film and enjoy a little bit because I know like all my work's done when I get home or on the plane I'll start editing so my vacations are most of the time the last day I'm on a big trip <laughs> that makes sense right behind my house is actually a little preserve which is super nice that's actually like one of the main reasons why I bought this house because I'm like oh perfect there's nothing going to be built up behind the house directly However, right over there, they've been building some apartments. So I don't know if you guys can hear that in the background, but there's like beep, beep, like kind of a bunch of construction going on. So there's a bunch of birds flying around too, making noise, but that's just the reality. We got planes flying over, um, but I'm gonna answer a few more questions. Do you know the island of Trinidad and Tobago? Is that how you say it? Yes, I actually have been getting a lot of comments about Trinidad lately and the spearfishing there. Um, I definitely have to look into it and going there. I know my good friend Raj from Jamaica uh, went to Trinidad and spearfished there and he said he absolutely loved it. So it's definitely on the to-do list. What is your personal best freshwater fish? Um, I don't know. I don't really like tap into freshwater all that much. Uh, I've definitely caught some nice bass over on the west coast of Florida in these little ponds on golf courses where you're not supposed to fish. Uh, yeah, um, I would say maybe like six pounds, like a six pound largemouth, um, but I, I just don't really get into it that much. All right. 
Have you ever shot a moose? No. Would you ever visit South Africa? A thing you should give it a bash. I, th I think he meant think, but auto correct on the computer. I would absolutely love to visit South Africa. I have great whites you can dive with, I think, down there and super cool animals. I think you got like penguins on the beach. Like I would love to visit South Africa. If you guys have any info on South Africa or like where to go, tour guides to go with or book with, drop it in the comments below because I would absolutely love that. How's your love life? Are you hoping for a hubby and kids someday? <laughs> Uh, of course. I mean, yeah, I want my own kids. Of course I do. I love kids. Um, but that just kind of, we'll see where things go in life, you know? You can't, like, really plan everything. Oh, let's see. Have you ever thought of doing a hunting and or fishing video in each of the 50 states by suggestions from those state subscribers on your channel? That is a really good idea. However, like, I don't know how, I guess I say drop in the comments below, like what state you live in and what like really good epic adventures, fishing, hunting can you do in that state? Um, I kind of plan to do that with the camper and like the question from previous I want to travel around and just do a bunch of different stuff, just kind of see what falls in my lap and what comes along the road. A little bit of planning, a little bit of not planning, and see what happens. But that's actually a pretty good idea. Thank you for that um, comment, Pilot Mac 422 um, Was Finley taken care of a little while ago after you got him, something happened to him? Uh, like, I forget, but he seems to be bouncing around just like every other happy pooch out there. So, yes, when I first got Finley, he had mega soft. Well, he still has mega esophagus. Um, if you don't know what it is, you can look it up. It's just a throat issue with swallowing food. Um, however, he just eats up on his little stool, and he does really good with it. Yeah, I haven't had any issues. If I travel somewhere and bring him, like, sometimes I'll bring his stool he can eat off of. But other than that, I just, like, I'll just, like find a box or a bench or like whatever and he just eats up elevated um but he is a lot better off than a lot of the dogs with that condition i kind of did some experimenting and some praying and um as when he was a puppy i'm like better toughen up because you gotta toughen up you have no choice you have to toughen up so he did and he does pretty good finley where are you finley come here oh hi he's looking for squirrels there's a squirrel that comes to this little bird feeder I have out here and he tries to catch them but unfortunately he ain't that good at it. <laughs> How about okay all right so this is the last question I'm gonna do. How about some ice fishing adventure this winter? Um, I would love to go ice fishing actually there was a few questions in here about ice fishing that I was reading but ice fishing sounds super cool however I kind of despise the cold but for new experiences and content like of course I would go ice fishing to go all the way up in the northern area and go ice fishing I'd have to really create some other content around that just because when it comes to YouTube and traveling especially like you want to get like you know a bang for your buck right so on these trips if I travel somewhere I need to get at least like three to four videos um, a lot of the trips I go on I actually you know it, I, I break even if I even break even you know a lot of these big trips I I spend more money than I make um, but then I'll do videos like this or videos at home that really don't cost much and you know it all evens out and balances out so as for ice fishing uh, if you have any information about ice fishing let me know it probably would not be this winter because I gotta wait for my ankle to heal and January, February, March, I already have some trips booked. But any information about ice fishing below, let me know, because um, I definitely would plan that for next winter. So that was the last question I'm gonna do. Uh, let me know if you guys like this type of video to film every once in a while, just to answer some of your guys' questions, get a little bit more involved with the audience. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice day out actually. I have a crow over there squawking away. Finley's, I don't even know, Just trying to get a lizard, I guess. Finley, what are you doing? <laughs> He's such a goofball. 
Oh, I love him so much, but you guys, yeah, I'm topping out. <laughs> Thank you for everyone's support on the channel. Unfortunately, I'm a little bit down right now and it's driving me crazy because I can't go out and do stuff, but I have to heal and maybe this is God's way of saying to slow down. I don't know, but we're here. This is what we're doing, so. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Leave a positive comment below. Um, but yeah, if any any feedback on any of the questions or answers that I did give, comment below. And I will see you guys on the next video. See ya.